Hey YouTube, it's Ray from Philly on this Good Friday, Friday evening, uh, March 30th, 2018. And I got a one card package mail day today for my uh, one of my PSA set registries, the post-war Rookie Hall of Fame. Let's see, this is my third card in a row that I've gotten that uh, went towards the uh, post-war Rookie Hall of Fame. Earlier this week I showed the 88 score Glavin Rookie and the 71 tops Bly Levin rookie. I think I showed that last night. This is the third card in a row. So you can see I'm starting to focus a little bit more on the post-war rookie hall of fame than the 300 great cards. I'm still doing that. That's my number one set. Um, but I, I'm, I have to start focusing on uh, the post-war rookie hall of fame set. It's, it's really a cool set. 99 cards in that set. This here is my 49th card and ranking wise before i got the glavin three cards ago i was ranked 149th uh, but that set is there's about 200 people in that set um i'm in the uh, 300 great cards set and i think there's only like 65 people in that and i'm ranked uh, ninth in that set so that one I'm trying more so for ranking, but this post-war rookie Hall of Fame set, I'm basically just trying to get as many cards as done on that as possible. As possible. So completion percentage is more important to me on that set than uh, ranking. But I was ranked 149th, and after the Glavin and after Bly 11, I moved to 139th. Now after this card, I'm going to show you, I'm 133. So I went from 149 to 133. That's all right. Uh, but here it is. It's, this is my 49th card of a set. It's a 1948 Leaf. Nothing could be finer than Ralph Kiner. Mr. Kiner's rookie card. And look how centered this card is. It's a collector's grade. So a card from the 40s, collector's grade is a 4. And the investment grade, I think, is still a 7. And this card is spectacular looking. Ralph Kiner, 48 Leaf. Now he has two cards from that year. Uh, for the PSA set registry for the post-war rookie Hall of Fame set, you could have gotten either this 48 Leaf or his 48 Bowman. Uh, this I got a really good deal on it for the 48 Leaf. And I kind of like this one better because it's a color card. 48 Bowman is black and white. And this just looks better. And uh, so, um, before I flip the phone around to give you guys a closer look, I just wanted to give you an update on the inaugural class for the 2018 Baseball Card Hall of Fame vote that I'm doing for my 700 sub contest. I have about 11 votes so far, so it's steadily increasing each day. Um, a lot of surprise cards, uh, you know, the 89 Upper Deck Griffey is leading the way. I think 10 out of the 11 people that voted all voted for that 89 Griffey. And you remember, you have to pick 10 names. Uh, also, a reminder, if you are going to pick a Babe Ruth Gowdy rookie, there's four. Uh, so make sure you put the card number. I think the card numbers are 53, I forgot again, 53, 144, 149, and I keep forgetting the other one. Um I put my vote in. I didn't have time to do a video for it, so I just put the list on the under the video. And uh, the cards that I picked, uh, in case Sonny one was uh, wondering, I picked the T206 Onus Wagner. That's one. 33 Gowdy Ruth, card number 144. That's the full pose pitcher. Uh, 33 Gowdy Luke Garrick. 39 Playball DiMaggio. Um, after that, I picked the uh, 52 tops Mantle, 54 tops Hank Aaron, 55 tops Roberto Clemente, uh, 68 tops Nolan Ryan, 80 tops Ricky Henderson, and 89 upper deck Ken Griffey Jr. So those were my 10 picks. And uh, keep on voting. This is uh, It's really fun. There's a lot of cool videos. Go check them out. Make sure if, if you don't want to do a video, you can just do the list. And uh, try and put a card number because some cards, like I said, the Ruth have multiple cards from that year. So keep the votes coming. The, the uh, deadline is next Saturday, not tomorrow, July 7th. And then on uh, 
not July, uh, next Saturday, I said July again, next Saturday, April 7th, um, is the deadline when you submit your vote, and then Sunday, April 8th, is when I'll announce that night the inaugural card, Hall, baseball card Hall of Fame class. But, uh, I've been rambling on here. So there's the 48 leaf Ralph Kiner. Going to do the old flipperoni, phonio flip to show a closer look and give you some stats. Hold hey. on. Here's a nicer, closer look at zoom in here. This card's really, really nice. Uh, 1948 leaf Ralph Kiner. Like I said, the centering on this is spectacular. There's the back of the uh, 48 leaf. And the back says, one of the greatest home run hitters in Major League, clouded 23 in 1946, 51 in 1947, and 40 in 1948, each year leading or tying for home run honors. This is a Major League record, three years in the big time and three years in, in the home run leader. Last season drove in 123 runs on 147 hits, batted only 265. All-star baseball gum free of any extra cost big picture of baseball's greatest stars you can see is age 27 height six one and a half home is alhambra california bats rights throws left weight 180 pounds there's the back of that card my 49th card of the post-war rookie hall of fame set 48 leaf ralph kiner Perfect fit sleeve. You guys know the deal, right? Register this tonight on the PSA set registry. And let me go over some of his stats. His stats are absolutely incredible. Keep in mind, this gentleman only played 10 years in the major leagues. From 1946 to 1955, he had a 279 career batting average and hit 369 homers. Now, normally, if you hear 279, 360, 369 homers, you're like, that's not really Hall of Fame. He only played 10 years. 1,015 RBIs. He was a six time All Star. And in the 10 years, he led the National League in homer seven times. Seven time National League home run leader. National League RBI leader in 49. Four, and number four retired with the Pirates, and uh, he played for three teams from uh, 46 to 52. He played with the Pirates, 53 and 54, he played with the Cubs, and his last year in 55, he played with the Cleveland Indians. The Pirates retired as number four, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1975. So there you have it, my 49th card of the... Post-war rookie Hall of Fame set, 1948. Nothing could be finer than Ralph Kiner, rookie card, PSA 4. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep on voting for the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. And uh, keep on collecting, guys. And I will see you again tomorrow night with another great PSA vintage card. Bye-bye.